Hi, this is Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE247 and the host of its webcast series. In our upcoming Design and Simulation Summit online on October 31st, we have a live keynote and panelists discussing the impact of AI, followed by tracks on real-world examples of digital twins, the value proposition for simulation, design strategies for additive manufacturing, and choosing appropriate workstations for your workloads. Now, here are some previews. Simulation and related technologies, such as product lifecycle management, have been used successfully for decades to provide designs that are well understood and work right the first time. Because in many cases, these capabilities and methods are well embedded into work processes, the value that is being created is often forgotten and not well documented. The risk that comes from this lack of value documentation is that those not close to how the value is created may not see it, and they may view these tools as expenses to be minimized rather than strategic approaches whose value needs to be maximized. In my presentation, I will, I will highlight three examples of digital twins in action for the topics predictive maintenance, new service models, and digital manufacturing. I will share best practices, how to identify the best use cases, how to create, to deploy, and to validate digital twins. Simulation. I think we can Looking see forward. this shift in the strategies of simulation software vendors and also the rising number of startups and, of course, the number of um, companies who want to apply this kind of software who are looking for these new offerings. Um, so I think when we look at this, it is pretty clear that this technology has come to stay. So I believe the question now from a user's perspective is how to prepare master. best for it. So what Established require... solution providers like ANSYS, Siemens, Dassault, Altair have already launched new AI-based products. There are a number of interesting acquisitions that have also happened in the industry. These organizations are being continuously challenged by a stream of new startups funded by venture capital money, as well as not having to depend on legacy codes and the fact that they do not have any existing customers to support. The simulation industry is indeed in the midst of a huge transformation on account of AI. Our Due test data includes models that range from 15,000 components to 86,000 components. By working with our hardware solution partners like Dell, NVIDIA, AMD, and Box, we have been able to continue testing the latest generations of hardware. This presentation is a summation of more than 275,000 benchmark runs over the last six years. We focus in on four main areas of our system, the CPU, the GPU, the RAM, and the hard drive. And our goal is to educate our customers how each aspect of the system impacts the overall performance in SOLIDWORKS. To join the summit, please register at the link in the description box. Hope to see you there.